She's just about ready to take off. We'll watch her. She's sitting tight. She wants to pose for us. She's showing us her best side and beautiful breast feathers. She keeps turning around watching that hillside. It's a steep bank and the sunlight warms it up, whatever's there, like a cricket-sized critter that she catches. And she's been eating several of them. Gonna scratch up a little bit, clean up her talons. Rousting up. We'll turn around a little bit. Alright. We like that. We'll back off a little and might see her take off here. It's one of our favorite spots for watching the American Kestrel. We have the female here and Male's about a mile away from Boeing Aerospace Park. There she's looking down. She sees something, I guess. She's been flying back and forth, and eating whatever she catches right up there on this uh, perch. She's just glad the sun's out and it's warmed up. It was plenty cold this morning. Give me a good three-quarter view here at the front the side. You see, she doesn't have any gray on her wing like the male does. That's one of the differences. She has uh, bars on her tail and he doesn't have that. His is kind of a rusty red tail, like a red-tailed hawk kind of. She has the black bars on her tail. No, she's a patient hunter. Anything moves, she'll get it. She goes from one pole to the next. Hunts every day here. And where we're parked, the lighting is perfect. It's always on our back and lighting her up just perfect. Don't have to shoot into the sun here. It's perfect. No, I guess there's nothing moving down in the grass. Watching everything. Red winged blackbirds are back in the thicket too, so. And the ducks are starting to pair up, so. We're going to keep an eye on these two lovebirds, American Kestrel, see when they get back together. We'll keep a sharp eye on them and try to figure out where they nest this year. We have a good project. All right.